Oh, yes. We are getting it together and we are in three, two, one. Sip and Shop, episode five of what? Season two, my dear, is on. Yes. And I am here to press. Mm. Yeah, let me take that. Get in the seat. Ow! It's a hot seat. Ow, ow, ow. Because there's so much hot. He's looking at me like, there's so much information to share. Why am I acting like so much information to share? You know what? I think it's, I think so. I think it's my garb. My outfit has got me feeling good. And I'm feeling hot, hot, hot. hot. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good, boy. I'm feeling real good. You know what it is? I think it's this orange. Anyway, welcome to Sip and Shop, your Saturday beauty break. Mm -hmm. Your Saturday refresher. Yes, we must do that. Your Saturday check in. Thank you, Jesus. We have each other. Yes, I am your host, Andrea Fairweather Bailey, and I am so excited to greet you once again. Very grateful for us. Very grateful for this time, this moment. I'm happy the sun is out. I get so excited when the sun is out and there's so much to do. You know what we've got to get down with right now. Mm! Get your libations, please. Yes! As I turn, oh gosh, I'm not even warmed up. I'm turning all sudden jerking. But this concoction should help with all of that. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's a little goldeny. What is it today? I will share in a second. Family, friends, please lift your cups, glasses, mugs, flutes, bottles, solo cups, whatever it may be. And hopefully we would like for you to have a healthy libation so that you can refresh and uplift your temple. Yes? Thank you for choosing to be here with us. It is an honor to greet you um, each Saturday. Having you in mind um, is a real blessing. Please go on and connect with me. It's very important that I know that you're watching because we would like to keep going and keep this engagement going. So um, I'm thanking you for for in advance for tuning in. I'm thanking you for the chit chat, the thumbs, the stars, green clovers. I'm thanking you for all of it. Um, I'm thanking you for your inspiration, um, motivation, the sharing time and the connectedness that we have. Yeah? Yeah, mm -hmm. right? Salute to you. Salute mm -hmm. to Eddie. Eddie's in the house. The voice is in. So what's up? Oh, the, the voice. Oh, perfect room temperature for what is this libation I have? Golden milk. Mm hmm. It's golden milk. Okay, I'll tell you what golden milk is voice, silver, platinum, golden voice in the house. Mm -hmm. Golden milk is um, a concoction of coconut milk. Uh, you can jazz it up however you want, but the basis that I, I like to create for um, me and Eddie is the coconut milk. I like a shot of ginger. I leave that out for him. He doesn't care for that too much. Honey in both, just a little. You're not dousing it up with honey, just a little honey. Cardamom in both, mm -hmm. turmeric in both. That's where you get your golden color from. Mm -hmm. um, a little drop, like maybe two dashes of mm -hmm. black pepper, mm -hmm. cinnamon, in both and if you wanted to you could do other things like nutmegs nutmeg and um mm -hmm. you know just other um spices you could also turn it into like a chai um mm. and add different spices to it but the whole basis of this particular drink is really to help with inflammation mm -hmm. and also the cinnamon um and boost the immune system specifically also with the ginger right. um turmeric has so many properties to it um which gives you this beautiful golden color. And I only used a couple of dashes, and when I say a couple, maybe three, mm -hmm. you could go deeper and really golden this thing up, right? Mm -hmm. um, depending on your taste buds. But also, what's really key in it is that cinnamon as well. 
as well as the honey, the cinnamon first. Cinnamon mm. helps to reduce the blood pressure. Honey helps to draw out the impurities. Mm. So there's a lot of things going on when this does happen. So I love it. It's a great drink and I like to drink it at night before we go to bed. Mm. You remember when like you were younger and you used to see um, or hear friends say, oh, oh, I couldn't sleep at night, so my mother gave me like a cup of hot milk, mm -hmm. warm milk. Kind of like that, because when I do drink it at night, I, I find that I get like a deeper rest. Right. Does that happen for you, Ed? Uh, yeah, I guess so. I, I like, when I drink tea, mm -hmm. it's like that for me. Okay, tea at night? Yeah. Ooh. Guess what today is, Ed? What's that? Guess what it is, family? It is the first of the month. That means it is May birthday shout out. Woo! Get down for the Mays. Get down for the Taurus. Can't stand y'all. Y'all bullheaded, but we love you. <laughs> can't stand the Taurus. I can't stand you. We can't stand. Who y'all get on my nerves? Taurus get on my nerves. No, look. <laughs> it is all good in the hood, mm -hmm. right? My um client big big client to Heidi Wright Joseph my baby is a Taurus and she just turned 16 okay oh my gosh we got something big coming with her she oh my gosh yeah. but that's my birthday baby yeah. 16 right honey I was dipping and doing it at 16 like a fool but anyway to all the birthday Taurus let's get down with your horoscope for the year shall we I may need my glass all it oh yes maybe maybe not so let's see for taurus it says let your it's your party and you'll cry if you want to luckily your taurus may 2021 horoscope shows no signs of crying on your birthday because this year's taurus season is filled with so much good luck however you may feel an energy shift as the month begins as of May 8th, Mercury and Venus have both been enter have both entered your second house of self-esteem. This will encourage you to stay grounded and to appreciate all the wonderful things that you've worked so hard for in your life. And finally, on May 11th, I'm not going to go too deep in it. I'm just giving you a grounding, but it sounds good for you, Taurus. You'll be entering even more abundance your way because this is when the new moon in Taurus takes place. So they say that's May 11th. This new moon will bring you closer to your true self, guiding you towards the person you're meant to be. We love that on Sip and Shop. You claiming it. We claiming it. The universe is calling for you, Taurus. Let's go. Let go of in, 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 inhibiting perspectives so let go of inhibiting perspectives surrounding you uh surrounding who you are and what you're capable of Ooh, that's big mm. let go of it let go and as of may 13th you may find yourself meeting a bevy of many like-minded people as jupiter enters your social 11th house this will inspire you to spearhead community movements that bring everyone together. Woo! That's a good one for you, Taurus. You know, I think you need a little toast on that one, okay. right? You're going to solidify that sucker. All right. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that tastes boom. Okay. Mm. So good luck to you, birthday Taurus out there. All right. So I want to flip this around a little bit. And I want to talk about what are you reading? So it was in episode three, right? Season two, episode three, that was on April 17th that I first made the introduction of the book, The Little Book of Big Lies. And that is by Tina Lifford. You know her as um, Aunt Vi on Queen Sugar, yeah? So I told you that, you know, I like to... I'm not a, a fast reader, right? But I like to take my time through books, books, mm -hmm. right? I, I'm a big fan of books, feel them, touch them, mm -hmm. but also to go on that fantasy ride with them, yeah? So it takes me time to just take it in and ponder on it. 
but then something came up so this is a continuation and this was really um interesting um in this book as we continue i found this interesting let me just share something with you um so she says um uh let me find it let me find it now i find it okay so i used my success to distract me from the painful reality that no matter how confident i was in other areas this area of challenge owned me tortured me if the word tortured sounds intense think about that experience in your life which haunts you not your stomach makes you feel insecure and at its mercy or that simply feels bigger than you i refer to such recurring memory overwhelm as a as a sacred torture any event that happened in our lives that now convinces us through fear through fear that it is more real and powerful than we are it is sacred because as you will see we hold on to it in a way that pray as we might doesn't leave room for god or for the light of new possibilities to enter deepness deep when you are feeling beholden to that thought the experience that memory that sucker that lies to you that keeps you trapped it takes so much work to come out of that mm -hmm. so much work um there was also something else that had that got me going with this because then it made me start thinking about like you know experiences and all mm -hmm. um moments that I was able to come out of it and moments that i still haven't come out of it yet right, right? and you know that if you are uh, single most times it's your family and friends that will experience the trauma with you being married unfortunately it's my husband that will experience the trauma with me as his traumas affect me so you know what i mean it's like an exchange right but check yeah. this out what this says here um information helped me to see and understand myself i discovered that i wasn't flawed or broken or less than i was human my pain was not unique hurts dramas traumas upsets disappointments and fears are part of the human package along with everything else in life the problem was not that i was not that i experienced hurt that's human the problem was that I was, listen, really listen to this. The problem was that I was uninformed about how best to take care of myself when my sacred torture was triggered. I learned that how we think about challenges helps shape our experience of them. Understanding that emotions can loop, creating a self-perpetuating experiences experience transformed how i interacted with my thoughts it's an emotional loop mm -hmm. it's an emotional loop and this is why i'm going to jump again okay keep that thought right the book this is why this came up here i am jumping what are you watching ah oh, may i make a suggestion thank you i shall so moving on with that jumping right into it this is why I think, and I believe that Eddie will agree with me, this show that we discovered on Showtime, why I believe it is really important for you to watch. Couples therapy. Mm -hmm. Couples therapy. Because they may not say uh, the phrase or use the phrase emotional loop, but it is, defini is definitely in full effect, and you can see ways of it being um brought to the surface right triggered brought to the surface um acknowledged then broken down figuring the source of it acknowledging right. what the source is and start breaking that thing down breaking it down until you can start to see the beginnings of a transformation from the patients on there i think that show is something that everyone should see it doesn't matter if you're in a relationship i think it is quite important to see the diversity mm -hmm. the humanness the connected emotional links that we have as humans to each other what i think is really cool is that it is set in new york 
And if you are a New Yorker, or you LA cats, or wherever you are, you know New York, you will see your hood in it somewhere. Right. Right. Especially Brooklyn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially Brooklyn. Um, I'm thinking that we may start to see some of the patients. I got a feeling some are in Fort Greene, wow. I think. And if we do see any of you, I'm telling you right now, I may run up on you. Um, oh. Not in a bad way, but to applaud. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To applaud because it's very brave to bear yourself and your, your situation mm-hmm. and, you know, your emotions and experiences out on the camera. But it was used in a way that I think was um, respectful, um, enlightening, and... Um, I think it's um I don't want to say revolutionary but it is it's different because one is it's, it's not it's a docu series but it's not shot like a docu series it's shot like a movie mm. and it feels like a movie mm. and at first I thought it was I thought it was a movie but mm-hmm. then I realized it was a documentary mm-hmm. and you can see the progression mm-hmm. or even the uh, regression mm. in some cases of the couples and it's 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 really good. It's it's I thought that uh there's you know, I didn't really want to watch it at first, but when I got I into not. it when I got into it, I was like, Oh, this is really good. It's really good. It's 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 especially if you're like into uh really good, meaningful content. You know what I mean? It's really good. So. And Eddie, you know what, thank you so much that you because I really wanted to share it with you and I got all the way I was binging y'all got all the way to nine mm-hmm. and was finished with nine and about to hit 10 and Eddie came out from the office. He was editing and said, I've been listening from the back. I can hear snippets of what you've been listening to. What are you watching? And I said, Eddie, it is so good. I would like to start it again and watch it with you. Are you down for it? He said, yes. And we immediately started and it was so good. It struck up conversations with us, right, mm-hmm. babe? Like it was really, and then we binged on, we finished season one and binged on season two and finished that right away yep it's like 28 minutes of sheer genius each time yeah it's good really way the shot is beautiful too just like you said yeah so thank you for listening to that but then let's get down to what are you watching may i make a you look at me when i get to it suggestion Thank you, I shall. First up, oh, this one was a hum dinger. It kept coming up in the search for a while now, mm-hmm. and I kept bypassing it, bypassing it on Netflix. Concrete Cowboy. Now, I believe. There is a book, because at first I kept looking at it go, and going, oh, I think this is based on a book. And, but, of course, bypassing, didn't look at the, the trailer or anything like that. Just kept bypassing it onto other things. But then something said, girl, you need to check this out. So I did. And I'm so glad I did, because I would have missed my blessing not watching Concrete Cowboy. It is beautifully done. But not just that. The ensemble... The cast is brilliant. Let me find it. Mm. Where are you, cast? Here we go. Mm, 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 mm. I say led on all parts. Um, not just one person leading, but it's an ensemble, yeah? And they are all powerful. Every single person in it is really, really strong. Idris Elba. I'm not going to go into the characters. I'm just going to give you like an overview. Caleb McLaughlin. Watching him grow up. He is a man now, y'all. A young man. Beautiful. Lorraine Toussaint. Trini's sister from Brooklyn. Went to performing arts for drama. Yes, she did. On 46th Street. Gorgeous. Jarrell Jerome. Ah. I didn't go too deep into the throat with that one. Uh, Another powerhouse, powerhouse, this one from LaGuardia, right? LaGuardia High School Drama Department. That brother is a fire beast. Telling you right now, Method Man. Meth was dope in this too. He was really, really good. Really good. Then you also have 
um, other cast members that I was um, really taken with their performance performances. Jamel uh, Prattis, uh Michael Taban, Byron Bowers, Ivana Mercedes. Concrete Cowboy is based off of a book where um, a young man who is living with, he, both parents are alive, but he was primarily living with his mom. Something happens. He has to go live with his father who is, and this is a history lesson, y'all. I did not know about this. Eddie did. I didn't. About the cowboys in Philly, in Philadelphia, about the stables and the, um, just the, um, the rearing, the horses and the cowboys that were actually out there in Philly did not know about them. The Fletcher Riders. Concrete Cowboy is something that should be studied in schools. Because it's going to give you a history lesson. But besides that, besides that, it also, I think, should be shown in, um, for film. Film schools. Eddie hasn't seen it yet, so he can't um, speak on this. But to me, I think so. I also think for um, acting classes, um, scene studies, lots of scene studies in there. Um, audition pieces for monologues and if you're doing scene studies in class, um, Dual scene, um, dual scenes like supporting each other. Mm -hmm. um, there's a lot to say about this masterful piece of art, really, and I think everyone that is involved in it should be quite proud. Mm -hmm. Concrete Cowboy, Netflix. Watch that thing today. Watch it. It was something else. Then something that we came across last night, right, and then got a big surprise at the end of that. Right. Um, was on what was that on? Ed? Amazon Prime. Okay, so Amazon Prime, and Eddie was like, "What do you feel like watching?" I was like, "Babe, you pick." So he, Eddie chose without remorse, le led by Michael B. Jordan. Michael B. Jordan is doing it, and I was telling Eddie, I really, we're really proud of him. It, his evolution, you know, he started off as a young child actor in the soap operas in New York, right? And I think it was all my children, but then like re meeting Ryan Krugler, like the two of them coming together, just like, bam, like he right. just really opened up as an actor, producer, just really found a space Good and, way. you know, like for the two of them working together and then independently is really refreshing and inspiring to see Michael, you keep going, my brother, but, um, and I don't even know him, but I'm saying brother, cause he's a brother. Um, but at the end of it, so it's a really good film and it was really well done, right? It's about, mm -hmm. um, that you want to say what it is? So it's, it's basically, a, uh, it's about a, uh, a special forces uh, team um, from like the Marines mm -hmm. and they get tricked into doing something and they, they figure it out uh, that they're getting uh, pulled into something that's deadly, that's, that ends up getting some of them killed and now they have to get out of it. So it's kind of like a, uh, it's it's kind of geared to be like a, another kind of born supremacy type of thing with Michael B. Jordan. That's that's what it is in a nutshell. Good synopsis. Mm -hmm. So at the end, you know, to me it's important to see credits because you want to see the people that, especially, you know, in the industry, you want to see who you want to work with next. Um, give props to those that did a great job. So at the end, for costume design, it said Tiffany Hasburn. And I was like... Hold up. There's only one Tiffany homegirl from Jersey, y'all. Jersey. She took a leap of faith, a faith walker, a number of years ago and said, I'm going out from the East Coast to, to the West Coast. I'm going to follow my dream. I want to see how far this thing takes me. And it didn't take her long. And she was the costume designer for that big film based off of a Tom Clancy novel. That's dope. That is huge. That is huge, Sip and Shop family. So I'm telling you, so follow her on Instagram. Her name is Tiffany Hasborn. She is amazing, always been talented. I was able to do a number of shoots with her through the connector for us was Harriet Cole when we were doing shoots for Savoy Magazine. And, you know, we've done so much together, but that's a powerful sister, man. Mm -hmm. So check her out, find her work. She also 
was costume design department for Atlanta, mm -hmm. right? Yep. Um, Tiffany's dope. She always has been. So go check her out. Follow her on Instagram, of course. Watch that film without remorse. Mm. What do we have next? Oh, yes. Poll winner time. Poll topic winner. So have you all been voting? It is very important for you to vote for the poll topic because that is a way for you to engage with us on Sip and Shop and give us an opportunity to find out what it is that you would like to see me present. Yeah, and the way to do that is to answer the questions from each week. We will always give you three topics. The one that comes in the strongest, the most frequently, will be the winner. And you can only choose one, so it's either one, two, or three. And so from last week... The topic winner is number three, the everyday household item that can double as a jewelry cleaner. Guess what it is? What's that? What is it? It's toothpaste. Mm. You can take toothpaste and an old toothbrush, right? Have your jewelry out and just gently go over it. Take just a little, you don't need to slather it on, but just, just a little toothbrush on a wet a little toothpaste put onto a damp toothbrush, mm -hmm. right? Not sloppy wet, but just damp toothbrush. And just go over your items, right? Right. Um, I should have done it on my ring today. I didn't have time, but um, I'll do it after, right? I'll do it after because mm -hmm. I know it works. And just jewelry and then just rinse the jewelry off with water and immediately dab with a paper towel and let it air dry and it'll come out like sparkling new. Mm -hmm. Isn't that a great tip? Mm -hmm. So in case you didn't know, you, now you know. It's toothpaste that will clean all of your jewelry. And it is, I think it's great. That's dope. I didn't know that. Yeah. Yeah, it's great. So since that's so great, let's get the questions in for next week, right? right for you to vote now. I think it's always best to do an impulse, like an impulse buy. Right. Do it, impulse buys are not that great. But this impulse vote is great, right? This is a great thing. So let's do this. So for next week, your three topics, poll topics are mm -hmm. number one. Oh, I think I need my glasses for this. My little handwriting okay. is a little sketchy on there. Okay. <laughs> um, Peepers $25 on Amazon. Center stage in case you like the frames. Okay. Um, How to keep your repeatedly used mask smelling fresh. What do you do to keep your repeatedly used mask smelling fresh? And you know those mask is? Mask. Mask is. Really the mask is? Mm -hmm. You know the masks are getting. Super getting on my last nerve. Because I have been breaking out left to your right. Mm. But Dr. Jen said pretty soon, as Dr. Fauci said, we will be able to uh, stop using those masks. Because we've been fully vaccinated. Right. And don't try to come for us. I want to see my family. That's why I did it. I want to see my family. I have not seen them besides my husband is my family. I have not seen my family in over a year. And I want and need to see my family. That's why I did it. Mm -hmm. Do not try to read. Good day to you. Number two. Simple unisex trick to make the eyes appear more open. Ooh, what is that? Mm. It's a simple unisex trick to make your to make the eyes appear more open. Okay, and then number three, a unisex cuticle tip. Number three is a unisex cuticle tip. Please go right now in the comment section and do one, two, or three. The one you can only vote once, but the one number that comes up the most will be the winner for next week. Mm -hmm. Right, and that helps to build right. the show. Build the show. Let's do something else. Let's go into beauty deeds. Okay. What in the world is Andrea wearing? I'm about to get down to the ground and tell you right now so you can get it for yourself. Yeah, let's start. Okay, so uh, the method to my beauty concoction is this. I needed something to lift me up, but I didn't want too much pop in the lips. Mm -hmm. Right? So I created a nice salmon colored, salmon colored lip with the following. Carry lipstick, 
carry lipstick and also a swatch of hot flash right lip gloss let's start with carry lipstick what's so fabulous about carry lipstick well this is the actual product here but i'm going to use the tester because i don't want to mess this one up and the tester is the one that i've been getting down on for a while because you know my lipsticks last for a while so you see how clunky this is it broke off before and everything so i'm just going to do it on my hand to give you an idea so let's say so this is a great pinky kind of nudie beige if you need like a pink mm -hmm. right that has like a little beige in it this is the way you go mm -hmm. right and this is perfect for all com complexions it doesn't matter how vanilla light you are or tasty deep chocolate you are right this is for you this is really a good base, like a primer for the lip, especially if you're a person that finds you have a lot of pink in your lip. So you have some lips that are like two-toned, they're dark on top, super, super light on the bottom. This is a nice way to even it out first. For anyone, turning my wrist the wrong way. For anyone, right? And all it is, you just apply it all over the lip. You can use a lip liner if you feel like it. I just use a little walnut on the outer lip. And then I like to take my finger because you know I don't like to mess up the um, the product. I'll use a little there on that finger and I'll go with my other finger to mix it and show you. Okay. So I'm doing two. Here we go. Putting this back. And so the first I'm going to do on my hand just to show you here. Let me get this right. Yeah. So I'm just doing like dabs over, which bleeds the two into each other, which turns it into a salmon. Mm. See that? It turns it into a salmon color. Nice. Okay? It's pretty, but check it on on me. You have to deepen it a little bit more. So I just take my ring finger and pop it together. And it bleeds the two together, but it is a beautiful, really, truly like salmon color, mm -hmm. but it just made me feel so good once I popped it on. So I said, you know what else I want to do? I want to pop on some blush to it as well, just to open it up a little bit. So after I did a very soft contour of number seven, I did just a little bit of contour, this uh, seven, and then I did my jawline because I was eating a little too much salt this week. And so I felt like my face was a little fuller. So I just went down, you know, the jawline, my neck, cheekbone line, you know, just to try to open me up. But I did go a little heavier with the big O, which is, has like golden flecks. I love this blush. Golden flecks. See it? Mm -hmm. Um, Blush with the mini brush i did use the mini brush on that one and i did like maybe three three pops on each side just blended it back and then of course i did mm, because the setting spray you see the glow just came up again it's kind of like it reactivates it, it helps blend down your work definitely holds it in place my face will stay on i'm taking it off right after y'all just to tell you i get cute I try to get cute for you all and for Eddie, but um, I'm taking it off after because, you know, I, even though I do makeup, I'm not a makeup wearer because I'm going to put on my mask and go take a walk out there because it's sunny and I just want to get down and feel the vitamin D in the day, right? right? But if I wasn't going to, I could keep this on and my face will stay fresh till midnight tonight, no joke. Mm. And that's because the clients tell me that. Right. They tell me, right? And of course, I did my brows, taupe. I went a little stronger um, on the arch, the outer corner with the original brunette brow fix to give it that breezy finish. Mm -hmm. um, let's talk about the other beautiful things that are on the site right now okay. for you to go see. How about that? Mm -hmm. So you can get those colors. Now, I did something because I want you to come on and learn the website. Come on. So for Carrie Lipstick, and hot flash lip gloss, I want you to go to the toolbar. It's the three little bars that you see as soon as you open up the website for Fair Weather Faces. You click that the three bars, right? Mm -hmm. And then 
it'll open up and it'll say search. You put the names in the search bar, click and go get them. Uh-huh. That's how easy it is. Simple. So it's Carrie lipstick and hot flash lip gloss to create this look. Simple. You've got the big old blush. You want that. And you also want the other things for your brows, right? Brow fix, mm-hmm. your two eyebrow pencils, or one. Two, I love, is to give more dimension to the brow. Definitely brow fix that goes with it. And let's talk about the other things that are up there right now. Mm-hmm. So you know we have Andrea's seasonal picks. And that's uh, the area in the site that is always turning over that I'm trying to give you just, you know, looks for each week. Mm-hmm. that I think are really cool that you should know about. So the first thing is if you purchase any um, brushes sets that we have, the pro set or the mini set, then you will get this, the travel size. And look how big my hand is. My hand isn't that big. But see, same size pretty much as the face chart, as they all are, of the original face chart. And this is the beautiful one that shows you, this is the five-minute face that I demoed about two weeks ago when we did the group lesson online. And once you get this down in your blood, then you will understand our color-coded system, which is a simple matching. It's like a paint by numbers for the face. You match the red dot to the red spot on the face, the yellow to the yellow, green to the green, and so forth. And if you follow the column in the exact order, it's like a recipe for your face, then you will get my recipe for doing your face right for each one so check this out we have all these beautiful looks right now something about each of these looks right now on the site and i'll read them off to you so like for perched which is like the eyeliner you get the matte fat eyeliner is up there you got Candyland, which is a beautiful balance between turquoise eye and pink lip mm. right you got french kiss the lip Chahadi is wearing it in Luvina, the lipstick that's on the site. You have um, things like Le Chic, right? Mm-hmm. With the lashes and like these glossy eyes and these salmon lips. So pretty. And then the other aspects that are on there, just right back here. The other fun things that you can look out for that I'm getting ready to update on the site. It's coming, right? Gonna start popping these colors, right? And I want you to get into it. It's things like Mamacita with your oranges. You're playfully sexy, right? With the strong lower liner and the clean upper. Lab Love, where we're coming in with lavender lips, y'all, right? Anyone can do it. You have your pink glam when you're popping, your pink shimmery eyes. You got your candy rock where you're smoking out with your green eyes. And you got your sunburst. There's so much more. You have sunburst and tropical where it's greens, blues, orange, yellows. It's, you know, we're doing it. We're doing it because we're moving with the seasons. So that, my friends, are your beauty deeds. And I want you to go out and get your fair weather faces essentials. It doesn't take a whole lot to create these looks. It doesn't. I always like less is more. But I'll slam you if I have to. <laughs> I'll beat you down if I have to. I'll beat you down. Okay. So where are we now? Mm-hmm. Guess what? Guess what's coming up next? What's that, What are you doing? Well, that's right. That's right. The big interview is up actually right now. It's up right now. It's up up on all of our platforms on Instagram, Facebook, uh, YouTube, right? That's right. It's up there. And I'm just going to give you a little brief synopsis. I'm not going to tell you who the person is because I want you to be surprised and you will be. But you need to go check them out right after you watch me. So... This person is female, has been in the industry. Mm-hmm. I remember when I was looking at magazines and I kept seeing this name come up and that was really before I even went full force going into makeup. This was when I was like still acting and dancing. Mm-hmm. So I, this person is many, many years in, they'll tell yeah. you, right? They'll tell you, um, is a trendsetter. Yep is someone that um, 
is has made it her mission to go back to the hood where she is from mm -hmm. and try to scout talent yeah. to bring them in to come on her team. Right. That's huge for employment, for career development, right? right? For inspiration, mentoring, right? It's big. And um, this person is a worldwide trend setter in a specific category. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's pretty monumental. And it's one that needed to be platformed and for her to get her flowers now and for all of you to know who she is so that you are aware of her and you can support her brand, right? Okay. So what are you watching is up right now and I can't wait for you to find out who that is. And for that, I would like to raise our glass because we are at the conclusion of Sippin' Shop, y'all. Thank you so much for hanging in there with us. We're hoping that um, you got a lot out of this. That was fun. Yep. Right, Ed had a good time, a and time. thank you for all of your patience. Um, make sure that you vote. Ooh, I'm getting a call. Ooh, and the... Make sure that you okay. Make sure that you tune in. Vote. Very important to vote, and you have up until like Tuesday morning. I shut it down about ten a.m. for mm -hmm. you to vote. Mm -hmm. Right, mm -hmm. and also. Just gratefulness, grateful for you and just grateful for life, right? Grateful mm. for everything. Mm. Salud. Salud. Did it, y'all. We made it through and we're doing it. Doing it. But Sip and Shop episode five is out. Thank you so much. Go get your products from fairweatherfaces.com. Go online and sign up for next week's classes. I'm going to drop those tomorrow, Sunday for starting yeah. Monday. Last week was fabulousness. The group, the prom beauty, wonderful questions, great demo we got through, timeless beauty. I wish you great, great luck and success to all the ladies that are graduating and going to make their attempts at their prom beauty. I know it's going to be spectacular. Thank you so much for tuning in and tune in for next week's online events. I love you all so much. Thank you for watching Sip and Shop episode five. See you next week. Bye.